while it's so hot I thought I'd just do a quick walkthrough of the camper um, we're here at Warrnambool so this is the Maverick Ranger Slide camper trailer the forward fold we've done a fair few mods which I'll talk about after but I'll just give you a quick look so we haven't put the awning on and this trip we're setting up for maybe one or two nights so there's no point putting the awning on it comes with basically a fridge slide there which we've had no problems with our fridge we've got the 75 is it brass monkey been brilliant then you've got this little slide here which we haven't actually made a slide for the top so as you can see it's really well packed bottom end slides out and that's got all my pantry and bits and pieces in there and I did find some tubs that I'll just quickly show you they're actually plant pots so they work really really well in here because they fit so I just got them from Bunnings actually I'll show you them in a minute because I have to pull all this stuff out first so once Clint's talking about the mods afterwards I'll show you them this slide here is our kitchen which we will pull out later on but it basically comes out of there it's got a really great stove um, we've got the four burner with the wind protector and the dish rack we put on after this model didn't have a dish rack going inside As you can see, this is the smaller original muck mat, fits perfectly in the front door and saves so much. Huge king bed area. We actually bought a Clark rubber piece of foam and got it cut to suit and a mattress protector made up for it. So it fills the whole space. It's really comfortable and still closes. Then back here we put in a table that's another one of the mods so we've actually got a swivel table the original table that came with this took up this whole area here um, and did collapse down to be this extra bed we don't need the extra bed and it took up too much room slide area back here is plenty of room as you can see it's like a whole whole arms width um, so you could if you had kids sleep them down there it does have the automatic light, lights automatically set up so once the camp is on and running you can turn them. we use this Milwaukee fan it's amazing battery operated charges really quick um, yeah so that's basically the walkthrough I'll show you the other side and then we'll do a separate video for the mods so the rear of the camper got two spare tires this particular model didn't come with a boat rack so we've installed that so we'll talk about that in the mods video you've got your little storage pod here we use that one for all the electrical equipment you've got your system there this side storage is actually really big area so that's our awning we've bought that for this trip just in case we haven't set it up yet this side is exactly the same as the other side more pantry items do you want to talk about the batteries we'll do the batteries we'll do the batteries in the mods video because there's been a fair bit of upgrading done to that as well under here you can see it automatically came with the two gas bottle holders and the two jerry holders so it's so far been a really good camper has a few issues um, with a couple of zips and a couple of buttonholes not lining up which has been the same from new like this one here there's no way you can actually button that on it's actually too like too short the distance same with the slide there's a couple of things all out of alignment but it is what it is and it's been waterproof and survived some pretty heavy winds so far so I'll leave this video now and then we'll do a quick mods video we'll talk about the aircon system and battery system we've upgraded 
and what we've done to the boat rack. Bye.